what's up, bro? How's it going? Nothing much, bro. Just trying to find some really good inspiration on Dribble and Beyonce. Why do you always go to these two websites? Because it's easy and you find everything in one book. What if I told you there were really cool curated websites which were specifically built for designers like you and me? If I got a job in a SaaS oriented startup, how will I start this particular project and find some good inspiration for it? Well, there are a few good websites, but I will show you the one that I really like. And that is sasspages.xyz. Well, this website is a collection of the best landing pages with the focus of, you know, copywriting and design. It shows you a lot of categories over here. And another interesting thing is that you can also check their best practices and also look at the basic resources where you can learn from the best designers. While you're working on a landing page, there are these usual suspects that you will always come across and that is teams, pricing, FAQs, testimonials, headers, navigation, footer and things like that. And these guys have nailed it really very nicely by categorizing this thing on the left hand side with dedicated best practices and resources right inside it. The best part about this site is you can filter it by different sort of sectors as well, ranging from marketing, finance, sales, education, and a lot more. Hmm. That's interesting. What if I want to build my own portfolio and I want to find some inspiration for it? Don't worry, I've got your back. Well, there is this website called as pafolios.com. Let's check it out. It's a list of best design portfolio examples built in with case studies for a particular set of designer, for example, product, UI, UX, creative designers. And the best part is that it's updated weekly. You will find a wide range of already existing UI and UX designers, product designers and digital designers portfolios on this particular site. Again, there are a bunch of case studies as well over here where you can dive deep into the nitty gritties of how to build a case study and the behind the scenes of what it takes to build a particular case study. Again, the best part is that you can submit your own portfolio to this particular site. And if they really like, they will try to host that particular website of yours in one of these portfolio sites. Okay, but what if I want to find some dark themed site inspiration? Where do I go for that? Well, there's a website for that as well. It's called dark.design. These are the best hand-picked dark themed websites on the internet with a lot of categories ranging from software, e-commerce, AI, Web3, blog, education. So we'll find a bunch of dark themed websites, all curated and collected in one single area. Now, the best part about this site is that you can also find some really cool tools that a lot of designers use on a daily basis in their design process to increase their productivity. This is so cool. What is, I want to find some e-commerce store inspiration. I knew you would ask this and there is a website for that as well. It's called storefront.design. So these guys curate the best digital e-commerce stores which are there online and which are really nicely designed. If you look at this website, you will find all curated e-commerce stores which are running either on Shopify or either on WordPress. You can check out some really cool designs on this. The best part about this is that you can filter this particular website with different sort of industries over here ranging from fashion, technology, beauty, sports, and also by different styles. For example, if you want to work on a monochromatic or a modern look for this particular site, well, there is a category for that as well. Well, you can also filter this particular store by typography. You can check out the websites which are made with Helvetica, Playfair Display, Inter, and a lot of other typography over here. Also, you can submit your own project if you have worked on any of the e-commerce stores in past. Okay, this all is great, but what if I want everything in one go? Like 
all inspiration in one sequence what like well there are a few of them and i'll show you some of the best ones which i always manage to go and check for some really cool design inspiration so first off is maxi best off dot 1 i know it's a very unusual name for a site but this is that site where you will get web design inspiration every week if you subscribe to this particular site there are various sort of categories ranging from agency e-commerce store fashion photography startups and a lot of other categories as well there is a huge list of curated sites on this particular platform this website also has a really cool job board where it redirects you to this particular website called as weloveproduct.co and you will find a bunch of job options available over here another really cool thing is that you can also submit your site over here and if you get lucky your site will also get published to this particular platform and then there is another site called as seesaw.website This platform is one of the best web design inspiration and it is hand picked on a daily basis. The best part is that there is multiple category options available ranging from AI, crypto, e-commerce, fintech and marketing. Go ahead, check it out and you can also submit your own website to this particular portal. Then there is also landings.dev. You can discover hundreds of landing pages which are created by some amazing companies for your next project you can filter this particular site with dark and light theme you can also curate them by you know multiple colors and also platforms for example webflow framer and nextjs wow these are just amazing are you happy now bye bye dribble and behans Okay so this video is not sponsored by any of these particular sites but this is just the list of all the curated sites that I go through for getting some really cool design inspiration I know it is a struggle for a new designer to find some inspiration and they always jump to Behance and Dribble That said I'm not saying that Behance and Dribble is bad for re- referencing and finding some really cool inspiration but there are other really good platforms where you can jump to and find some really good inspiration apart from dribble and behance share this with your design friends and also comment below which are the websites that you go to for finding the right set of inspiration before starting your next project lastly hit that subscribe button like and comment for more happy designing see you in the next one